be hating on me. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Let me show y'all niggas something. No, that's not a light bulb in the sky. That is the moon leeching off the sun's light. You know how it is. Niggas used to. I used to argue with people. There's like the moon has its own light. I'm like, are you stupid, nigga? The moon does not shine like the sun. No, 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 no. What is wrong with you? The moon is reflecting of the sunlight. You feel me? That's what it's doing. You feel me? It does not, it does not shine. The moon does not shine. You feel me? When you see that moon in the sky like that, that's not that, that the moon doesn't have its own light. That's the reflection of the sun itself. That's why it looks like that. It's a glow. It has a glow to it. You feel me? It has a real glow to it. You know what I mean? It's been out there for so long. It's been out there for so long that it's like a, it's almost like an icy rock. You feel me? It's like an icy metalish rock. Even the moon dust is small particles of metal. So just like metal, it, sh it reflects off light. It kind of shine off light. The light kind of bounce off it. And that's what the moon is doing right now, as you can see in the sky itself. You feel me? And yet again, it's still a rock. Cause if you, if you take a look at metal, metal itself, it's just another form of rock. That's all it is. So is glass. You feel me? So is dirt. All these things are rock in different forms. Even even diamonds and gold. These are all rocks. They just different temperature and different heat make them the way they are. But it's just a rock. You feel me? It just it just it's just a different form of a rock. It's precious minerals. That's what they call it. Chuck it me up. You feel me? It's precious minerals. That's what they call it. But it's really a rock. You feel me? It's just been in the ground for so long, mixing with other stuff and later on become a rock and shit like that. You feel me? That's all it is. You dig? Anyway, I'm out here. I know they was waiting for more. I didn't have no more to say. I'm waiting on my bus right now. Um, hold on. Hold on, yo. Uh, yeah, look at me. Feel me. I gotta hold this big ass bag. It's not really a big bag, but it's, you know what I mean? It's annoying. These are the times where I wish I brought my book bag with me. Niggas be making mad noise. I don't know, man. I kind of, I ran for how many? I ran for um, probably like 15 minutes. Not really run. I don't really run. It's more like jogging. You know what I mean? You pace yourself. There's a, the more jogging I do, the better I become with my rhythm of pacing myself and controlling your breath as you run and shit like that. But you're not exhausting too much energy. The trick is when you're jogging, a lot of people be jogging and they put too much into their first step and they run. And it's like, yo, there's a difference between running and jogging. Like you gotta know how to, I mean, when it comes to jogging, you can jog for hours if you know what you're doing. You feel me? You just gotta control your breath. You gotta um, take your mind off the jogging itself and just put your mind on something else, but you're jogging, you feel me? So basically you'll be moving forward, jogging, 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 but don't think about you jogging. Cause once you start thinking about you jogging, you'll be like, damn, I've been jogging for three minutes. Damn, I've been jogging for 10 minutes. Damn, I've been jogging for 15 minutes. And I know you probably thinking 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that's nothing. Maybe because you haven't jogged before, you feel me? But 10 to 15 minutes is not bad at all for me, my nigga. I ain't even gonna lie to you, you feel me? You cover a lot of distance when you jog 10 to 15 minutes. You'll be surprised. It's equivalent to you walking for 30 minutes when you jog for 10 minutes. You feel me? That's the distance that you cover. Now, if you run fast and you start running real fast, you more likely to get tired faster. You will get tired. You will. But once you jog, you pace yourself and you control your breath and everything else like that. You don't breathe too heavy. Control your breath. Always have control 
of what you're doing when you're jogging. Just have the control. Keep going. I know sometimes you wouldn't have your legs with you and everything else like that. But as long as you have your breath with you, you're more likely to run further than you not having all your uh, tools in place. It's your, once you get tired, it doesn't matter how strong the body is. You're out of breath, you're out of breath, my nigga. So you got to stop. You feel me? So you got to control your breath. You know, ease, ease into really like... Feel me? Just go, go, breathe slowly. You feel me? You have to control the situation. You have to. You feel me? You just have to control this. I had to give y'all niggas the shoulders. I'm sorry. You feel me? It's a lot of mosquitoes out here and it's biting me. <laughs> like, can't believe it. They're supposed to be scared of my skin. They can't tell the difference. I'm blending with the dark too much. You feel me? But yeah, that's the jogging part. So I jogged for 15 minutes. Once I got out of work, I did a 10 hour shift. Jogged for 15 minutes once I got out of work. I wasn't even going to jog. I was going to take the bus, call it a nice day, let it pass. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Whenever they react like that, that's truth to it, you feel me? So that's why I appreciate the confirmation. But I didn't need your confirmation. I already confirmed to myself that I was already great. You feel me? Anyway, look, so we joke for, uh, not we, I always say we. For some reason, I always feel like it's more than me. Damn, why do I keep doing that? It might be we, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sometimes I could be by myself, but I got 800 invincible men. So every time I try to be, I try to use the word I jog or I try to use the word I a lot, which I need to. But ever since, it's been, it's been like that for a very long time, since my teenage years. I keep using the word we as if it's more than one of me. First, it used to be cool when I used to have a lot of niggas with me and everything else like that. It makes sense when I used the word we, I was being humble, but it wasn't really we, it was I. When I do something, I'd be like, we, I try to include everybody else, but it's like you can make so much excuses, but then you have to think about it. Okay, why are you using the word we when you by yourself and you really did it by yourself and you was jogging by yourself? Why are you using the word we? Nah, I mean, sometimes I got to think about it. I can't, be, I can't blame it on the fact that I'm French. Oh, because I'm French, that's why. No, that's not going to work because they're going to look at your black ass and they be like, no, you're not French. And we're not going to argue about that. <laughs> a nigga African, but my, gra my grandmother is my grandmother is from French. My grandfather also lived in French for a little while. My mom speaks French. You feel me? So it is what it is, but I don't claim that side too much because I be like, yo, I'm African, man. Fuck all that complication shit. I have to explain to y'all niggas. You feel me? Like, I don't want to explain to y'all niggas. I was supposed to learn French, but I didn't get to learn it because there were so many other languages I learned and I was learning. I learned like five different African languages. So by the time I got to French, it was I was, I was already a grown. I was already in my teenage years. I couldn't learn French. I went to school. I only learned French just to pass the test and that was it. You feel me? But... I'm talking about learn French from my mom, you feel me? Oh, my grandparents and shit like that, but... Yeah, it was Mosquito. That nigga was just laying on me. Anyway. Yeah, I got five minutes. Let me stand close to the post, because the last time the bus driver saw me and just kept on driving, then he said, <laughs> I'm like, damn, nigga, like, come on, man. Niggas, we, we work too hard, like, you know what I mean? 10 hours of work. I'm a stand-up guy, you feel me? I'm getting hit and everything else, but I'm still working. I ain't complaining to nobody. So when I come to a, a, when I come to a, when I'm in a position like that, I don't expect nobody to hate me for what I'm doing, you feel me? I get on his bus. I know the bus driver too. I, I take his shit all the time. I get on his bus. I don't make no noise or nothing like that. I sit in my seat and I'm very, it's like, yo, it's like, how much more can you do for people to even respect your shit back, my nigga? Like, I don't know why he felt the need to just keep on driving and do that <laughs> with the bus. And I'm like, man, yo, I just did 10 hours, man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't deserve that, my nigga. Feel me? I didn't deserve that. You know what I mean? If you, you got your own personal problem, I think you should keep it to yourself. You feel me? Like, why would you want to, like, what kind of bitterness is that? It don't make sense to me. It's just, it's just, it's bitterness, my nigga. You feel me? Niggas be feeling like, it's like, it's crazy. It could be one white guy at the job competing with me. Then... All white, not all white, let's see, here I go again, generalizing thing. Then some white guy out there think it's him that was competing with me too, so he took it upon himself to drive the bus by me. And I'm like, damn, my nigga, that shit ain't had nothing to do with you because you're not that person, you feel me? You are your own person. Let it pass.
Bills. He just fronting. He mad. He about to crash his car because he mad about what? But let me speak to you. You are your own person. You have a fingerprint that belongs to you and you alone. Your DNA belongs to you and you alone, my nigga. You feel me? It's true. You feel me? Even your footprint belongs to you and you alone. Your voice, the sound of your voice belongs to you and you alone. No two men are the same ever. Ever. See, you are uniquely made. So if somebody that you think have the same pigmentation as you or have the same suit as you or have the same complexion as you and you think that, oh, that nigga did that to Jeff. So I, I guess I'm going against Jeff too. I'm like, no, that was a personal decision that you choose to make. But you and that person, you're not identical twins. Man, that shit is biting the shit out of me, Lord. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta change this. Hold up. You feel me? Y'all not identical twins. You feel me? You are a unique individual. You have your own blueprint. You have your DNA. You have your own mind. No two people can see the same thing the same way. You feel me? So there's no need for you to be mad at me and try to be like, oh, I'm gonna punch your eye and all that shit, man. That shit is gay, man. That's a decision you choose to make. Just because you have one white guy who, who compete with me and I made him look bad, now you feeling bad about yourself. The reason why, because you don't love yourself. You put your happiness in what? Let it pass. Bring it on. You put your happiness in what another guy can, you know, can do to me so you feel proud about yourself. Now, if you was a person who was already proud about yourself, you know that wouldn't de derail you or de deter you from feeling the way you already felt in the first place. But because you live, you live by curiously through me and the things that happen to me, you feel good about yourself. If something bad happens to me, you feel good about yourself. If I do something good, you feel bad about yourself. That's the reason why you react in the way you react in. That's the reason why you got to plan and make it seem like, you see how, you see, you see, y'all niggas, y'all can't, y'all got to stop acting shallow. You feel me? I gotta stop acting shallow, my nigga, you feel me? You joining the other side, you joining Poppy and them, and it's like, yo, do better, my nigga, you feel me? Monkey see, monkey do, nah, that shit don't work out here. You feel me? The fuck up my shit, fucking mosquito. You feel me? So y'all gotta do better sometimes, you feel me? I, I, like, you feel me? Just cause I compete with one of them. If I compete with Poppy, then another nigga that look like Poppy wanna do that. If I compete with Tyrone, then another nigga look like Tyrone want to be at me and i'm like yo y'all niggas is shallow as a motherfucker that shit ain't got nothing to do with you now if you decide to do what he's doing then that's cool then you can bring it on too but at the same time you are not that person you feel me how come when i compete with poppy how come tyrone don't come in and be mad at me like that it'd be nothing but poppy sometimes then when i compete with steven steven is a white guy poppy is a spanish guy and tyrone is a black guy just in case you don't know when i compete with steven Every nigga that look like Steven want to battle against me. Not, not every nigga. I'm generalizing it again. Individuals that look like Steven want to battle against me. And I'm like, yo, come on, man. Respect, respect this shit, man. Can't you see that I embarrassed Steven already? And worst of all, Steven was out acting a cowardly way. Come on, man. Are you a coward person? No, you're not, my nigga. You seem like a stand-up guy. So why are you even... Why are you even including yourself in such filthy behavior what is what's going on with you you need to start questioning yourself these are questions that you need to ask yourself you feel me let it pass it's a truck there's a truck passing by you feel me it's a whole white truck passing by they just want to like it's just a white truck he's not even white he's one of the fake white boys White people calling, they, they're calling me. White people, real white people were calling me, telling me, Jeff, we want our white back. They said they want their identity back. You feel me? Because all these niggas trying to lynch off our whiteness. I'm like, yeah, f man, I've been saying the same thing for years, decades. Like, all y'all fake white niggas, y'all got to stop it, man. Feel me? They got to stop it, my nigga. You feel me? I've been making real white people look bad. Feel me? I have a white family myself. Nobody believe me. <laughs> and that's a fact though, I did I still do, I technically do You feel me, I used to go to camp And everything else like that And um, 
my brother was always going to camp. So one time when I came from Africa and everything else, they said, all right, in the summertime, you're going to go to camp with your brother too. So I finally went to go meet my camp family and everything else like that. And it was all white. And all of the names started with a K. <laughs> it was funny. You feel me? So it wasn't like, there wasn't even racist. It just happened to be all their names started with a K. Cool as fuck. You feel me? And um, what do you call it? I was just, you know, I was in the town with them. Like, you know what I mean? We just rolling around. Regular. Summertime. Spent like two months over there. You feel me? We go in the woods, camp out, sleep in the tent and everything else like that. You feel me? They family to this day type shit. You feel me? So, one time I was riding around with them. And... I was like, I was, I mean, you see my complexion. I used to be blacker than this, you feel me? So I'm riding around with white people in the car and there was some black, we went through a, we was driving through a black neighborhood and they was looking in the car as if I got kidnapped. It was like, like what the hell is going on? How that black ass nigga end up with them? Another one. Told you I'm battling Steven today, you feel me? Hold on, let you see. Man, my bus was supposed to show up three minutes ago. This is shit that you got to go through. Some niggas is just so losers. Anyway, look. So, my story, back to the story. So, I'm riding around with, with this, my white family, right? And niggas, in the, and niggas on the other side, on their porch, they're like this. They're just looking at me through the car, and we in the car laughing at them like, <laughs> And I'm like, I'm telling them, like, they probably never seen a black nigga with a white family before. And we all just started laughing. It was just a moment, and history itself and I had to share with y'all, you feel me? So, when people tell you I'm racist and everything, I'm like, how can I be racist, you know what I mean? There's no way I can be racist when I actually, you know, slept in a the house, they fed me, you feel me? Went to the woods, shot guns, you know what I mean? Rifles and everything else, regular, you feel me? Don't let these niggas lie to you, anyway. But just because I'm battling one of y'all doesn't mean I'm battling... Y'all niggas ain't got nothing to do with this shit, you feel me? I just don't. It's a coward's behavior. People hating you in the back of you and they're attacking you when you're not watching and sleeping and everything. Now, these are disgusting behaviors. Why would you even involve yourself in such things? Oh, shit, that's me. All right, I'm going to see y'all later. I had to put that on camera.